Let's take a look at Turkey's incursion from a Saudi perspective. Ahmed Al Ibrahim is a Saudi affairs specialist and he joins me now from Washington, D.C. Thanks ever so much for, for joining us. Uh, how is the Saudi government viewing the recent Turkish intervention in Syria? I think uh, if you look at that, there is two... Um characteristics to it. One, it's a political and one, it's a military. Saudi Arabia has no choice but to have uh, Turkey lead the uh, insurgent that's happening on the ground and actually the Turkish going to the to the borders of Syria and pushing all the ISIS uh, territories from the border. That's a serious step by Turkey. And Saudi Arabia does value these steps. However, on the political side, they are very close in removing the Assad and a future Syria without Assad. However, on the military ground, there's a lot of differences were Turkey uh, supporting who and Saudi Arabia, who, uh, who would they like to support? So unless these two countries actually in the future start sitting and mapping out how Turkey and Saudi Arabia would shape up the new Syria, the new united Syria, then th there will be a, a problem with this uh, little militia. Listen, Turkey is looking for unified Syria because they don't want any Kurds to be on the border and anybody bug bugging them. They would like Syria to be one, one unity, and that's also the vision of Saudi Arabia. Now, the timing li line between Saudi Arabia and Turkey on when Bashar al-Assad should leave the office, this is what's actually in the works. I think the, uh, the United States and the Americans, uh, especially this administration, they haven't, you know, d done so seriously about, uh, you know, uh, approaching the uh, Syrian um, file very well. I think the Russian has now uh, the upper hand in Syria. They have the say on uh, on, on uh, having Bashar in or having Bashar out. And this is actually the problem between Saudi Arabia and Russia. So I think uh, in this administration in okay, the United so States, I wouldn't bank on what they are trying to, to do in, the, in, 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 uh, in intervening in the uh, Syria issue. However, the Russian has a bigger and a deeper um, uh, investment in Syria. So, Ali, what kind of involvement could Saudi Arabia have in any possible joint U.S.-Turkey offensive on Raqqa, for instance? Listen, uh, it's always, when we talk about the terrorists, Saudi Arabia, the United States, the coalition, Turkey, they've been b bombing uh, ISIS uh, or the terrorist group Daesh since day one. So there is no uh, mercy on that. Uh, it's going to continue. The alliances is going to fighting ISIS, not only in Syria, maybe it's going to be extended in Libya and in Iraq or other countries. So this is, uh, this is established. This is clear. Uh, priority number one is to get ISIS out of the way. However, also with getting ISIS out of the way, is unified Syria without the, fu uh, the future of Syria with Bashar al-Assad. Ahmed Al-Ibrahim um, from Washington, D.C., thank you very, very much.